Testing one, two. Okay, so this is the Mr. Nobody podcast. Episode 20. I'm outside, and that's the sound of me. Uh, I don't know what the verb would be using a hand truck. Hand Truck Drivers Institute of Technology. There is technology with a hand truck. It's Archimedes that I was trying to reference. He. It's Archimedes that I was trying to. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But the idea is that the lever multiplies power. So, uh, I'm on my way to the big park near my apartment in the city in which I live. I'm groaning because I have a uh, incision on my back that was made. ago by a surgeon to remove something on my spine and he sewed me up and it fucking hurts carrying my guitar I may have to I may have to adjust this and get my guitar off my back I told my social worker to get off my case (laughs) here's a little sunny spot So you're going to hear the city rolling by, and what I'm doing today is something I said I would do but haven't done yet. is I'm playing solo in the park today. Where very often I've, not very often, maybe I've done it ten times, have played in the park over the last couple months. It's not that much, right? It's not every day. When the occasions line up where the weather's okay and the people are available, I've started gigging again with what essentially is my favorite quintet. There's some young kids talking. School's back in. But I haven't gone out by myself yet because Wow, I'm pausing it because, because it could be a a few different approaches to the answer. It could be lazy, fear, excuses of other things, which of which I have plenty. I had work to do, practicing. Today I was on my deck, and it's a nice day, and later this week I'm supposed to play three times in a row, sort of a micro tour of the park with my quintet, with the quintet, and it might rain. So I'm sitting on my deck a couple hours ago saying, I'm playing all the same tunes that I'm gonna that I'm gonna play in the park. Why don't I go play them in the park instead of playing them on my deck? 
about myself. Unemployment has run out, and working has taken on a different power. I gotta work somehow, somewhere. I felt that if I didn't go out today and face my fear, that I wouldn't be, you know, responding correctly to the promise I made myself and you. It's not Carnegie Hall. But you know, sometimes it takes as much concentration Steps of my courageous wife, who's a great performer, humble. She would never call herself that, but she is an amazing performer and singer. And she also plays clarinet. And she started doing this playing in the park thing last year. Fuck no. Something I was against or not for. Aren't these lovely sounds you're hearing? Yeah, tritones. Okay, or fourths. Well, fourths. A couple of fourths in a truck. Sorry about the wind. So my wife did that for, I mean, days every week. She was out there for five, six hours with her singing partner. I feel bad making you work so hard. Sorry? I feel bad making you work so hard, too. No. She was having a hard time digging the coin dollars out of Thank her pocket. You so Thank you for the music. That's very nice. Have a lovely day. Meanwhile, I was talking about my wife, who showed up every day in the park. Rain or shine. Singing to tracks. She bought herself a speaker. And she just... Fucking did it. And people loved her. And not only that, she got a really great gig out of it. Met some serious jazz people who adopted her. She made it happen. She made something happen. She had more gigs than anyone I know during that time. That's not exactly why I'm out here today. It's part of it because she showed me what it means to be courageous, to, to go forth even though the path is fraught with fear, rejection, embarrassment, even pleasure. I told her last year I will not Spanish. I don't want to play for people's pleasure. 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 I'm still being a dick in my anti-humanity phase. <laughs> I really was 
was in an anti-humanity phase, I gotta tell you, I felt that the world wasn't worth trying to better least not for me to try to better it because I was so bitter there's some kids I said his name out loud yesterday three times so I could hear it 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 what else can I tell you about that Oh God, 
I get kind of sad playing guitar because I was supposed to do so much more of it in my mind with my son. Imagine if he and I were both doing this, right? It would be, it would feel safer or somehow. kind of way where my ancestors are reaping the benefits of this type of work rather than just me alone. That was another reason I came out. I had a thought. That thought was, I'm not, I'm not adding anything to the world by just keeping this to myself. All I'm doing is sitting on my deck, playing for the squirrels. the point of art, art, music, etc. That point is to, to share it with the world. That's a good point, the world. Do you know that 99% of the world is uninhabitable by humans? The ocean, the tundras, the Arctic, the etc. Deserts. So it's not the world. It's really just with a few other
inside this little gazebo by the pond. Hello. Gentlemen, mind if I play here? You're, no, you're, you're, you're fine. We have our musicians ourselves. You are? What kind of musicians are you? Guitar yes. player? Because uh, of the shirt. Yeah, so. And you? Keyboard player? Yeah, and a guitar player also. Oh, great. Great. Yeah. And the donde eres? You're, you're Spanish? No, Russian. Russian, okay. Sorry, I heard, I heard Spanish in my ear. Um, great. Where do you guys play? Uh, jazz, yeah. blues, Brazilian. Yeah. Same, same here. Yeah. I play in the park with my wife and also a quintet. But today was the first day that I forced myself to come out. Because I was playing on my porch. You know, for myself, for the squirrels. And I said, you know, I should, uh, you should make it happen. You do, you definitely should. Yeah. Yeah, and you just get, yeah. And you get better at, at doing it. I mean, I play all the time, but I, and, and I do solo playing, but not, I haven't done exactly this yet. What kind of quintet do you play? Uh, it's, it's jazz. Guitar, so he guitar. plays. He oh. plays the bass, and then when he switches to solo, and I play the bass on the guitar. Drummer and a great horn player, and my wife sings and also plays clarinet. So. Nice. We're supposed to be here Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but now here it's going to rain. But now here it's going to rain. But now here it's going to rain. What about you guys? Where do you play? We just played at the, at a festival. We just used our cat uh, septet, so it was like uh, two, two saxes, guitar, keyboards, a drum, bass, vocals. Great, 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 great. Yeah, My friend is from Canada. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm from Odessa, Ukraine, but I've been living here for almost 30 years. Uh -huh. So you're not Russian, though, you're Ukrainian. Uh, technically, yeah, I'm speaking Russian because Ukraine was a part of the Soviet That's Union, right, yeah. and a lot of people in Ukraine do speak Russian. So, you know, like, I don't know. My, I mean, I understand, but I don't speak Ukrainian. Ah, okay. But yes, you know, like, I'm, you know, like official I'm Ukrainian. Very interesting. Are, are you ethnically from Russia? Your family originally? Well, actually, ethnically, I'm Jewish. This is how you know, like, it yes, gets sir. Yeah, yes. all the time. My so, father's from Belarus, so oh, I understand yes, it's a complicated uh, our, our, fr our friend, uh, who, is a who is a saxophone player, he's also from Belarus. He's from Minsk, so... That's from my dad. Well, we all yeah. have yes. our ancestors, so... Uh, yeah, uh, so ethnically, I'm not Jewish. Born in Odessa, Soviet Union, then Odessa became part of Ukraine. Then they immigrated to the United States. Yeah. And then I've been living here for 30 years, so it's like typical, so, yes, typical American, American story. I know, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's wonderful. Well, uh, uh, it's nice to meet you guys. Nice As well, you. Have a good, have thank, you, thank you. Earlier today, I said my son's name out loud three times. So I could hear it. 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 That guy said the word ancestors. I get my guitar out. And I start setting up. Kids playing around, and benches where people are sitting. The gazebo is a typical place where people play, so it's not intrusive or out of character. Russian guys hung out for a while and listened to me. Look at that kid. 
just say. If you guys are going to leave, I'll take that seat. Yeah, they offered me their seat. We warmly shook hands. Some geese flew right overhead. Listen to that music all around. They're awesome guys. I concur. This should be fun. I'm going to sit up. attention to myself as I play. I always get freaked out by those musicians that look at you in the eyes and smile at you and nod as you walk by. It's just creepy. Just play your shit, man. Don't. Don't suck me in with your vampire eyes. I'm Mr. Nobody. It's not about me, it's about it. It's hard enough. I'm gonna pause. I guess I was pausing for something. So a little bit about the music that I decided to play in the park. I just picked a few jazz standards. I think I picked 12. And I did most of them with this bossa nova feel just because it sounds better than swing time on my speaker. And I would just try to forget everything and just let the music create itself. playing on this little carbon guitar and it's so pleasurable and I just let my mind go
things that he would play that he would like that he would like that I played new things <laughs> 